plaintiff, Stephanie Duxworth, has known the defendant for 10 years, and Stephanie claims she smokes marijuana every day and even has a marijuana leaf tattooed on her arm. Stephanie's suing because she claims the defendant's dog bit her son. Defendant Billy Clayton says the only reason she's in court is because Stephanie loves to shop and the money's running low. Billy insists Stephanie is the one who smokes marijuana every day and the injuries to Stephanie's son were minimal. Start with you. I have been friends with the defendant for over 10 years. Um, she is a wee head. I know you had a lot of weed head cases in here. I thought you were um, about to say, I know you had a lot of weed. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. She has a big marijuana tattoo on her arm, and also she smokes every day. Um, How often do you smoke? Every day. I stop smoking every day. to get a job. She smoked oh, every day. To get a job is the only reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I stop. Go ahead. Um, she has lost the apartment because ma police found marijuana in her apartment. It must be subsidized housing. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, what else? That's all you I'm know about it? She a weed head? I mean, and we... And you, the only that. reason you're no longer a weed head is because you got a job that requires testing? Is that all you want to tell? <laughs> um, we were close. Um, she has a a child with my cousin. So I've been knowing her for years. Okay, and you all have always gotten along? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. You wanna give me some background? Well, you know, S Stephanie has a, a problem too. She likes to shop. Um, this case is based on money because that's what she is, money hungry. You know, um, she likes to go to buy shoes. She buys $80 oh. lace wigs, you know. Um, <laughs> She shops at Rainbow, you know, she buys clothes. Uh, and she really splurges. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Uh, Truly, she does. And um, Stephanie has this $900 rent that she can afford. Really? So that's why I'm in court today. She has what this city? truck. We're, we're from Chicago. What part of town? Because $900 don't get you far if you're downtown. <laughs> She's in Riverdale. She try to be big with it when she knows she can't afford it. Is that an upscale? Yeah, it's an upscale, upscale for her. Yes, it is. For her. For yes, her. it is. <laughs> for her, okay. Yes, it is, truly. <laughs> All right, because 900 don't get you much these days Show down. in the upscale community or in the downtown uh, major city. But right. uh, go ahead. All right. Um, and Stephanie. She tries to, she's, uh, what do you call it? Ghetto Fab? Is that what you're That's saying? That's what she is. Ghetto, ghetto Fab. fab. You're right. All right. You summed it up for me. She's Ghetto Fab. You spend That's what more she on she, what she that should. That she can afford. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Stephanie. That's All why right. she's suing me today, because the money is low, and she need to come back up. <laughs> she need to come That's back up? Is. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Let me hear from you on the dog bite. Tell me what's happening. OK, on some real stuff. My child, this is my friend, and we have been close, but this is about my child. Um, I had to take a test for a job. Um, the, the defendant called me that morning and asked me, um, could my children come over and play with her children at her house? Um, my children has been over her house before. Nothing has ever happened to them. They was, they would be, you know, fine when I come back. Um, when I got out of the testing, my phone was dead and I had to charge it up. When I charged it up, I see a text at the top saying, I don't know how it happened, but he may need stitches. I say, I hurry, hurry up and call her. Who might need stitches? Who, my son? Mm. And it's like, she wasn't really getting words out, but I heard her say, dog and my mm. son. And I hung up, cause I, and then I started driving crazy to her house, cause mm. I know she said something right. happened to my son and this dog. I know her nephew has a bull massive. Mm. No, and, he's not a bull massive. Um, it's real big, it's a real yeah. big dog. And they always say that it's an old dog, and it'll never do nothing. But every time I'm at her house, I always tell her, oh, move that dog. That is too big. You know, and she know how I feel about the dog. And she always move it. You know, them, them couple of times, she always move it. You want to have a picture it. of the dog? Um, I do have I, a picture, but it's in my phone. I have a similar picture of the dog, but it's not my dog. the exact well, dog. You have your phone? Yes, you I let do. Let me see it in your phone. I'm not going to look at them nasty texts you be sending. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna look at your nasty pictures or your nasty texts. Wow. 
Does the dog look anything like this? Let me see. Oof. Let me see what that dog looks like. I'm scared just looking at the picture. <laughs> no, he doesn't look like that. What do you have there? Let me she... see. This is the picture of your the actual dog. Yes. Man, you know, that dog don't quite look as vicious as this other one. Right, exactly, because he's mm. not. That's a big he's dog. He's a good dog. A my, dog. I have That's a two-year-old myself. Let's not take it too far. I don't know about being no good dog if he <laughs> bit this baby. Let's, let me hear what happened. When I get there, I rush to my son. I'm looking at my son, analyzing his face. I have pictures of, of his face. Um, she comes out. She's on the phone like, um, why don't you just put some witch hazel on it? No, I did not. I said witch hazel. His face was Before bloody telling when I you got why there. don't you put some witch hazel, did yeah. she tell you what happened? No. She no, she never she You walk in thing, and I she said, said, put some witch hazel on it. Yep. <laughs> yep. No, I did not yep. judge. No, on the I did phone. Not. She was on the phone like this didn't matter. Like this was a, a petty incident, and my son's face is bloody. And she's like, Let just put it, some please. witch hazel on it. Had. On while she's on the phone. Was... I go straight to my son, analyzing his face, looking mm -hmm. at his face like, oh my God, his face is just bloody. Uh, it's deep, and mm -hmm. it's like, and, and them scars will never go away. Uh -huh. um, she comes out, she's on the phone. Mm -hmm. She like, oh girl, just put some witch hazel on it. While she on the phone talking to whoever she was talking to. And That's your, all she said to and me. And your son's face is like this. That's all that she said to me. Ma'am, what is, is that all you said to her? No, she's lying. I never said that. This is what I told her. I said, if you want me to, I will go to the emergency room with you to check out his face. If you want me to, we can go to Family Dollars. I will buy something to go on his face. His face was not bloody when she got there. When she got there, I had already wiped it off, wiped the blood off. I put Vaseline around it to stop the bleeding from his face. And you see the baby's face? I mean, why wouldn't it be like that if he had just got... That's exactly bit. how it was when I got there. When she got there, it was it was like this, okay. but it wasn't but bloody. That, it was that like, you know, it's the tissue. It's just not dripping. That's bloody. <laughs> she likes to go to buy shoes. She buys $80 oh. lace wigs, you know. Um, <laughs> She shops at Rainbow, you know, she buys clothes. <laughs> Stephanie. She tries to, she's a, uh, what do you call it? Ghetto Fab? Is that what you're That's saying? That's what she is. Ghetto, Ghetto Fab. fab. Yeah. Plaintiff Stephanie Ducksworth was friends with the defendant for 10 years, and Stephanie claims that she smoked so much marijuana that she got a tattoo of a marijuana leaf on her arm. You saw that. When and I then seen what? that, I hurried up and got my baby's things. Kay. I got when she told me that witch hazel thing, mm -hmm. and told me put I, I I got really mad. Like mm -hmm. I was gonna end up going to jail doing mm -hmm. something. And I know I'm I'm just there with so my kids and do? it's her and her you whole grab family. Your kid so and I went got to the out of hospital? there. I, yeah, I went to the hospital. And um then I took him to the doctor the next day. Um they told me he didn't what have did any. What did she tell rabies. you occurred? She never told me what happened. That's why I said, to this day, I don't know what happened. She never she called didn't give me to an ask explanation. me, how your baby doing? Uh, nothing. She never called me until I didn't do any of that? You didn't call and tell her what uh, happened or call and check on the child? Stephanie didn't ask me what happened to her child. All Stephanie did was pick up her stuff and left out the house. She didn't try to hear nothing that I was saying. I called Stephanie to talk to Stephanie about the situation. Stephanie didn't even answer her phone. So that means she didn't want to be bothered. So I, I stopped calling. And then when DCFS came in the picture, I called her back. And I'm like, man, why do we have to go to DCFS? You know what I'm saying? And then not only that, you saying that you took him to the hospital to get him checked out. But the hospital was too crowded, so you left. But if you so concerned about your child, you would have stayed at the hospital to get your, son, your child checked out. You would have never left that hospital. You just hear, she just hear she trying to sue me for some money. She wouldn't have had to go to the hospital I, I had know it what not you're been saying. for your dog. But can I tell you why the dog bit him? I'm going to tell you why the dog bit him. Why the because dog bite the baby? Because he kept messing with the dog, slapping the dog on the butt, um, trying to put his fingers up the dog's nose, all of that. He was just kept messing How with the dog. How old is your child? So. OK, ma'am. Why did you allow that dog to be in the company, a big dog like that, in the company of a two-year-old baby? First of all, Judge, I didn't allow the dog to be in the company of him. 
The dog stays upstairs. We live downstairs. Mm -hmm. I was watching her son downstairs. Okay. He the one that kept going up the stairs, messing with okay. the dog, All right. slapping on the dog. All right. You let a two-year-old go upstairs by himself. Very good. That's negligence. No, he all, wasn't by all himself. All you have to do is peel. That's what you just said. If he was under your supervision and went upstairs without you, you were negligent. Oh, a two-year-old under your supervision, you're supposed to have a two-year-old, your eyes on that two-year-old at all times. What do you have there? Uh, um, any have, uh, hospital bill the, or anything have, that no, you... I just have the doctor's statement of um, the two times that I went to the doctor. Please. Somebody called DCFS on me because You don't have anything this. to show? This is no... Oh, yes, it is. All right. Um, um, See in my office, statements. multiple dog scratches. Uh, Follow-up point. Look, you can't read a word these doctors yeah, say. Yeah. <laughs> I believe they do this just to show off. <laughs> they ain't the only ones been to school. <laughs> and I write where you can read. All right, uh, I'm going to grant you the 3000 Try and get him some um, plastic surgery of some sort or whatever he might be able to access for that. All right, good luck to you. 3000 for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff. I'm not really mad at you, Stephanie. You, know, you got your judgment like you want it. You can spend your money how you want to spend it. I hope you spend it on that plastic surgery like you said you was. And uh, not no rainbow and all that. No, I'm not, and I didn't buy this rainbow.